Civics Work Programme, it's all based on our main responsibilities. The first of those policies areas is, of course, the future of Europe. Huh? Uh, good governance, subsidiarity. The second main topic that we will be addressing is democracy and the European way of life, which basically means, to some extent, hate speech, how we deal with hate speech, how we deal with a new form of communication, which we as politicians are exposed to, uh, but which changes the climate and poisons the climate of democratic debate in Europe. And we have to have a position on that. It's a big challenge. It's something which can be addressed directly at a regional and local authority level. It's not abstract at that level. It's directly applicable. The same applies to disinformation, which use the same technical uh, instruments but pursues a different objective, the destabilisation of institutions and the destabilisation of the processes which make up Europe. And we have to have a clear position on that. The same applies to the rule of law. That is the cornerstone uh, 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 of, of the European Union. You all know that questions of the rule of law uh, are, are on the big stage at the moment. You know that there's intensive discussions of matters of the rule of law, and these dis are discussions which affect the whole of Europe. This is not a discussion for individual countries or areas. We're all challenged by that. Uh, the, the, the question of preserving the, the, the rule of, of law, the basic principles which underpin our democracies are important and apply at every level. It would be an important role in the work of our commission. The next uh, controversial topic, uh, something which I already addressed in our earlier meeting, is the question of migration, integration and asylum policy. This is something where, where we need to develop a, a, a conceptual approach uh, which uh, um, takes account of solidarity and, and, and human rights and which caters for uh, a better and easier availability of money for the integration of, of, of migrants. CIVETS Commission quite clearly has to be part of the inter-institutional debate and it has to be involved in the implementation of, of asylum and migration topics. We must be involved, but we also must provide a steer. This is something where you need the European approach. It's a controversial topic and it's something that has to be discussed in our Commission with a view to pushing these matters forward. The next topic relates to something which I, I also mentioned in my introductory, that is neighbourhood policy and enlargement and development policies. There is the established commission of form of, of working together, which we have to build on. Um, and we have to be clear that uh, um, Europe cannot further develop without a clear view of its neighbourhood in the east and the south. It's necessary to export stability in, in close cooperation with these regions. And that will be a central topic of years to come. A lot of this will be continuity. That applies to development cooperation. This is something which... Uh, uh, of course, works at the level of uh, the member states, but also of the European institutions. But uh, there, there is a, a role and an involvement and cooperation with the regions and with local authorities. Practical exchange of best practice is something which is best found and which is anchored in the local and regional level. That is something that we need to further develop. Um, I think it's impossible to think about these things without seeing that in connection with the migration policy. The two things go together and must we must make that clear in our work. Uh, that is, these are things which will play a central role, but there are other important thematic areas. Uh, fighting terrorism and organised crime, security, which has a supranational component, a national member state component, but it's also a topic for us in the regions and in the municipalities and local authorities. 
uh, also active citizenship as well, where I don't have to say an awful lot more because it's something that we looked at during the meeting today as a standalone point. Then there's institutional cooperation, which must be strengthened uh, with the commissions of the European Parliament, where civics topics are discussed as well. We see that our impact, which has already been discussed, depends largely on how closely and how and how well we work interinstitutionally. And this applies for the, the, the to the Commission. It applies to the Council. We we wish to strengthen our cooperation so that the the opinions that we produced have an impact and are heard.